Oh yeah, feel that stretch! Hi everybody, Renegade68 here with some more Let's Play Persona 3 FES. What does FES stand for? I don't know. Uh, blind! Uh, last time we started the game. Got this rap feel going on. I, I like it, I dig it. Dun, 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 dun. Um, uh, so when I loaded the game, it warped me from back here all the way to up here. But that, uh, besides the point. Um, so between sessions, I went ahead and checked the recording. And everything looks pretty much fine. Um, the only place where the brightness difference was really apparent to me was um, with uh, Yukari. She seemed to be... Uh, it was kind of like a vampire from Twilight who was standing in the sun for too long. It looked a little bit like uh, Hikari. I, I don't know, for some reason, I guess she's just a naturally bright character. So the brightness change makes her look maybe a little too bright. Um, I mean, I don't have to deal with that on my TV. You guys have to deal with that. Um, hashtag, uh, please deal with it. <laughs> I really can't do anything about that. Um, but, uh, hashtag, please don't leave me. Anyways, um, but yeah, that seems to be the only real issue, and it's, it's not huge, I hope. hope it's not huge for anyone. But, uh, other than that, I guess we're just gonna move on with the plot, right? Okay, I was wondering, like, it seemed like I couldn't get behind the couch here. Anyways, though, let's just go. What we do, uh, go back to my room. Will you go back to your room for today? Yeah, I already got my Mad Bowl, I'm stocked up. I'm um, bitching. I feel tired, you should get some rest. Certainly. Am I gonna be sleeping in the girl's dorm for like the whole game? They said they'd get sorted out soon, but maybe not. Maybe it's just gonna be the whole game. Oh! I'm going out for a bit. Oh shit, that's the. Is that Liam O'Brien? I'll have to hear that a little bit more. But, um, is that the uh, Akihiko guy or whatever? Uh, he's got a bandage on him, so. I, are you related at all to the guy with the bandage on his nose from Persona 4? His name is escaping me right now. You know, the soccer guy. Anyways. Hmm? Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? Yeah, that's Liam O'Brien. Alright, cool. Is he like a punchy guy? He's holding the coat over his shoulder, so that's, that's reminiscent of Kanji. Or future innocent. Still not sure how to process that. Anyways. There's a lot going on. Indeed there is. I know. Okay. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. Apathy syndrome? They're apathy. Sympathy is when you 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 have feelings for someone's plight. So you don't have feelings for someone's plight, so people are just randomly coming down with feelings of not caring about other people? That's a very interesting sickness. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. Gotcha. They say it's due to stress, but... That's a load of horse donkey! Or horse shit. Donkey doo-doo. Horse donkey. Shit doo-doo. Doo-doo shit. Yeah, right. It has to be them. Them? Okay, seems like there's a number of characters that know something about the supernatural something-somethings. Unless it's like, oh, it has to be that serial murder, and it says nothing to do with the supernatural, but... Hmm, interesting. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. Oh, it's one of them characters. Always looking for a fight kind of thing. Looking for somebody to... to, to someone's ass to kick. Or in his case, I'm guessing punch? That would just be my assumption. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... You can what? Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. If he is a party member, I think he, he could be a fun one, because, um... Persona 4 never didn't really have anyone like that. Um, Persona 4, everybody was like, We're all in this together, yes we are. Um, got that out of the way early. Um, yeah, Persona 4, everybody was pretty much super duper friends. There was no real... Oh, I'm the jerk of the team. Ooh. I like it when there's a jerk of the team. It, it leaves room for interesting uh, character growth and development and places they can go. Uh, so I, I enjoy having a jerk on our team. Uh, assuming you're a jerk and assuming you're on our team. The 
this isn't a game, Akihiko. Oh, he thinks of it as a game. That's also something I enjoy. Yeah. I mean, after all, I like playing games. That's why I'm LPing. If I didn't like games, but I mean, of course I like games. Anyways, April 4th, 2009 to April 8th, 2009. Oh, April 7th. Sorry. April 4th. No. Fourth month. Anyways, you overhear a conversation. Okay. Did you hear the rumor? No. Tell me. Oh, does that have to do with me and uh, Yukari? I gotta say, I love this. Oh, that's great. I really like the, the, the theming going on with this game's songs. The rap theme to it? Normally I don't even like rap, but when done right, rap can be really good. Um, I mean, Persona 4 was a game where it didn't have... It had some good songs in it, and it had an overall decent soundtrack, but there's not one song that I can point to in Persona 4 and go, Oh, this made me, like, ejaculate all over my insides. A couple of the, like, later remix boss themes are kind of cool, but, um... This game, like, right off the bat, I feel, at least to me, at least for my preferences, has a more enjoyable overall soundtrack, at least. Now, that's a very early impression, and my memory of Persona 4 is vague, but that just goes to show you, like, there's some games that no matter how long you're away from them, you'll remember certain songs. With Persona 4, there's really only, like, a couple that I, I'm thinking of, but anyways. <clears throat> Oh, uh, something about a bathroom? Oh, you like, did I go in the girl's bathroom? No, I didn't. I went in the boy's bathroom. Fuck you. No! Not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Me? Let me get you, uh, stop coming to school. She does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. Oh, shoot. Who is this? Is this our first case? Her mother tries to talk to her. She only mutters to herself. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, what is coming? The plot? How about that? You don't believe me? Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, that gossip. I wonder how different my impressions would be if I played this then Persona 4. Both for my impressions of this game and for Persona 4. Would that maybe like Persona 4 more or less? Would that maybe like this game more or less? It's impossible to know now, but. Uh, once I play through this one, I might have something of an idea, even if I can't know for sure, for sure. Anyways, open your textbooks, and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Uh, why him? I'd rather teach... Uh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. Well, then just teach Utsubo Kubota, you're the teacher. I mean, it's the curriculum, I guess, but fuck the curriculum! He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. That's fun. I mean, singing and literature sometimes go together. There's like, you know, like musicals in plays and stuff, for example. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Yeah, you go, you go, Torumi. Fuck the curriculum, do what you want. Toriyumi, Torum, Toriyumi, okay. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Of course he wasn't. Oh, and I was gonna ask me for, oh, yeah, this is like, oh man, like Yosuke all over again. But because this came first, it's going to be really interesting because I'm going to see a lot of things in this game and think, oh, it's just like Persona 4, but i got to remember, this came first. So it was Persona 4 was the copycat. This game was the original, question mark. Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh, 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 um, uh, who does she like? Uh, Zenzo Kasai. Uh, Utsuba Kobota. Uh, Fuyuhiko Yoshimura. That's funny, Fuyuhiko. Uh, that's the guy who is played by Derek Stephen Prince. Is that his name? You know, the guy who plays people like Fuyuhiko. Um, from Danganronpa. Uh, I believe it's Kubota, if I was paying attention. Zenzo Kusai is the guy we have to study, and Kubota is the one she wants us to study, I believe. That's right, so you're listening to me after all. Oh, that cheer! from the crowd! That wasn't in Persona 4. Man, it's like, Persona 4 copied a lot of the lesser stuff, but didn't copy the stuff that I really enjoy. Like the oh, or the flashes on the, on like the oh that Junpei sometimes has. Is it just him or his other characters have that? So far it's just been Junpei. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. <laughs> you saved my bacon, Renegade. Well, 
As long as you don't touch my bacon, I'm fine with saving yours. Here are classmates whispering. Renega gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. Oh, shit. Ooh, yeah, this wasn't in Persona 4. Nobody was all like, uh, uh, we saw, we heard. Nobody was, uh, was a bit, was a little shit tattling on us. Became slightly more popular. Oh. I became slightly more popular for being a nerd. Well, I guess I'm a nerd that helps people out. Because, you see, in, in school, me personally, I was the nerd that didn't help people. Like, study your fucking selves. We have to study a lot, or we fail for not studying, you fucks. So, I didn't really help people out that much. I was pretty much like, you want me to help you? Okay, sure, but you gotta, like, uh, I'll help you study, but I won't help give you an answer. Anyways, it's not like a test or anything, though. So, anyways. Your charm! At least that's a different stat. Charm is not in Persona 4. Okay, it'll be interesting to see if there's any crossover if they're all different. Hmm. I do like charm, though. That w that is that my boner points in this game? Oh, I hold boner points. I remember those. Persona 4, what was it? Boner points was courage, I think. Courage to ask the girl out. To have your big boner. That's the idea, I believe, behind where I came with that, that, that term. Uh, in this game, it might be charm. The ability to charm the lady. Assuming there's no courage. Anyway, since classes have ended for the day, you decide to go back to the dorms. Okay. Yes. Bookworms. Oh. Just, just giving us an idea of the stuff we'll be seeing later. I saw a cat. Strip mall is lively in the evening. In the evening, but not during the day. Ooh. That's catchy. I really like some of this rap stuff going on. Anyways. I will say that the opening... The opening was alright. Again, it had more of a rap feel. Um, but, uh... My favorite opening of... If I had to pick between the three, yeah, even even on my TV, she looks a bit bright. So she's definitely gonna, yeah, that's it makes sense that she looks super bright. Anyways, um, but uh, what was I saying? Of the three openings, Persona 3's opening, Persona 4's opening, and Persona 4 Golden's opening, my favorite is still, I'd say, Persona 4, um, at least based on the song. But based on the visual song, like, matching and the tone, this game, I think, has a better tonal thing going on. I just really like the song from Persona 4's opening. But, uh... And then Golden... Golden's going for a weird techno thing that I'm like, meh. Anyways. So, this is our new guest. That's Igor's voice. That's Igor's voice. You're masquerading. You're actually Igor. Oh, shit. Is this mansion hiding the Velvet Room? Oh, shit. Good evening. Good evening, Igor. If that is your real name, or sophisticated gentleman, if that's your real name, which it can't be because it's not a name, but if that is who you say you are. Interesting. Um, okay. So, they don't abduct you in your limo anymore. They just live here. So I guess it would make sense that everybody who lives here, like, you know, uh, Hikari and stuff, are in on this. In which case, was I invited to this dorm because they knew that I was super special and could work with their team? Or is that irrelevant and I was put here just temporarily and I was intended to be moved, but I'm not going to be moved and we know I'm not going to be moved because, well, you know. Also, um, Akihiko, this is a girl's dorm, right? Akihiko is here as well, so, anyways. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. That's a load of shit. You're Igor. I can recognize that voice. But maybe you're both. Maybe you're playing two roles. Maybe there's some kind of thing going on there, like how in, uh, in Persona 4, John Young Bosch played both the main character and Adachi, so I guess it's not unheard of, but um, considering that the main character mostly only grunted, it would seem weirder. But uh, unless that's just your disguise. Unless you are the, the principal, but that's also a disguise. I don't know. <clears throat> Chairman, not principal, but anyways. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, Igor is simpler. Oh, but I can tell the difference. There's, you can tell he's being more casual. Um, I mean, it shows the range of the voice actor, but anyways. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. If this game was released after Persona 4, and wasn't the first appearance of Igor, which I believe this game was the first appearance of Igor, I could be wrong, but if it was released after Persona 4, they probably would have done a better job of hiding the fact that this is Igor, 
But because this is the first game with him in it, I think that's probably why they didn't care. Like, you can have your voice be kind of close, it doesn't matter, since they're not going to know who this, that guy is. They're not going to recognize the voice. But I recognize the voice because I played Persona 4 first. <clears throat> Please, have a seat. You also get tongue-tied because that's not your normal voice. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. Okay. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. You gotta first check to see if I'm qualified for your little team, right? Something like that. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Oh, plenty. What's your real name? How long is your real nose? What kind of magic you got going on to hide the longness of your nose? Uh, why are you here? Who else lives here? The other night I saw... No, I'm good. Um... Uh... Hmm... Who else lives here? I think I know, but is there anyone I don't know? There are only four students in this dorm. That's suspicious. A dorm can fill a lot of people. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru. And? And a senior named Akahiko Sanada. Is Mitsuru not a senior? She definitely seems like a senior. But okay. I hope you all get along. I hope so too. Any other questions? Sure. It's not letting me ask the one I want to ask. How do you hide that nose? But, um, probably just magic or something. Um, what? The other night I saw... You saw something strange. Like what? Oh shit, I should be careful about what I'm saying, shouldn't I? If I wasn't the main character, I might be in danger of getting axed if it turns out there is a crazy, crazy conspiracy going on. I don't know what's up, but anyways. Oh. Does he know what's up about your up, though? I would think he knows what's up about your up. And if he knows what's up about your up, then you shouldn't care if he knows what's up about your up. But if he doesn't know, then... Or, no, or do you know that he knows? Because maybe you don't know that he knows, but he does know, but he secretly knows about your up. About your gun pointing up in the direction of your face. And almost pulling the trigger. That is the up. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. That is bullshit! Something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? Yeah, fine, we'll just do all of them. Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Of course you are. Well, to be honest, I do have other business here. That's right, you do. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? Ooh, what do you want with Mitsuru? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Well, unless you let... No, nope, still don't let me ask about your fake ass no, so I guess I'm good. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. I hope so too, Shuji Ikutsuki. Blech. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're excused. Move along. Whatever magic you're using. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Whatever magic you're using, it can't be that easy to hide your fucking nose. Anyways. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Also, the uh, person who goes to sleep early doesn't get to hear all the little gossips and conspiracy stuff that you're talking about behind our backs, right? My back? Is it only my back? Is there anyone else's backs you're doing it behind? Or is it just my back? Please forgive the pun. I did not even notice it. I was too busy being in my own stupid world. <laughs> Ellipses indeed. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Igor wasn't too much of a joker, which is kind of a shame. I like a good pun. No dreams? No nightmares? Working hard? Oh shit. So, how's he doing? Me? Are you monitoring me? Am I like your fucking test experiment, you piece of shit? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. You are monitoring me, you pieces of shit. Interesting. 
but I'm guessing we're the good guys. So you're monitoring me to see if I can join your super task force of evil fighting good guys. Still though, that's creepy and like illegal, I think. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... That said, if it's creepy and illegal and stuff, then that's a good reason to not tell the police! Bazinga! Oh, man. I had to reference it at least once. Anyways. Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Interesting. So even in front of them, he's keeping up this guise of the chairman. Now, is that just because it'll be inconvenient to drop the guys? Or do they not know that he's Igor? Because he's definitely Igor, right? I believe so. Another cutscene. Ooh, pretty ladies. Oh shit, the greenness. Who's this guy anyways? Don't think we're familiar with him. Is he about to get murked? Is he gonna be our next victim? Definitely looks like a victim. Goopy, black goop. So... Dark Hour. Persona 3 people get goopified. Hmm. He's still sleeping. And they're not even paying attention to the person getting goopified. So are they not um, fighting evil? Or are they just monitoring evil? Or... Interesting. Or is that in my dream? Or is that actually happening? Hmm. The Dark Hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Almost like it's the midnight hour, as if special phenomenon seem to always go on at midnight. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Channels. You could say that right now, the frequency they're looking at is a channel at midnight. <clears throat> During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Wait, you mean like, all over the world? Like for everyone? Like forever? What? This takes place in the same universe as Persona 4, right? Assuming the cameo is to be believed for Persona 3, does that happen to the characters in Persona 4 as well? At midnight, they just... I guess they're not that special after all. And the, and he, and the main character of that game thought he was super special. Then he must be... So he's not turning into a coffin, which means he's a super special duper special. But you guys aren't turning into coffins. So that means you're also super de super special duper special? Or is this because you have some kind of cloaking device? Igor could set that up. As you can see, he's retained his human form. Interesting. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. So was the goopy stuff in my head or actually happening? The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. To be a fighter? Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Interesting. So, people that don't get turned into coffins are going to get preyed on by some group of evil duper evil guys. But they only prey on you if... Okay. But if you have potential to be a super duper crime fighting super duper, the evil people will leave you alone. How many people exactly aren't super duper? Oh. How many people, I should say, don't get turned into coffins then? Because you'd think if enough people didn't get turned into coffins, unless they don't realize necessarily what's going on around them, that there are coffins around them, like they forget that something weird happened? It seems like the main character remembered something weird happened. Questions. Scary. 
In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. So a few more days before I get to fight super duper evil crime lords? Whatever the villains in this game are? Yes, sir. So am I gonna get like three party members all at once? Because that'd be nice. In Persona 4 we had to build the party for a while before we had a whole full team. Kind of bad though, spying on him like this. And you should, because it's very much illegal. Um, although Akihiko might be away for a while, so maybe he won't join our party immediately. I'm, I'm just assuming things, but yeah. Oh shit! That's Igor. And that's not Margaret, but same attire. Welcome to the Velvet Room, my dear young man. Yeah. Is this real? Are we are we here? Yes. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, I think I maybe psyched myself out a little bit. I don't think that's the same voice actor. I think, I, I am certain that the person playing the Trierman is the same voice actor as Igor from Persona 4. But I'm not so sure that that's this voice actor. He sounds different. Unless, of course, he's going out of his way to make himself sound different so you don't realize that the chairman is Igor until later on, and then he starts... Or that was just an interesting casting choice that they had the chairman in this game play Igor in the next game. Or maybe I'm just crazy and this is the same per- I don't know. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. That could be the same person, just really trying their hardest to not sound like the chairman, and that wasn't an issue anymore in Persona 4, and maybe the chairman is closer, closer to this person's natural voice, so in Persona 4 they said, fuck it, I'm just gonna sound closer to that voice, I guess. That's a possibility. Okay, also, Elizabeth, that is not Margaret. Okay, gotcha. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. Uh, say more lines for me, would you? Because that line, I think I recognize the voice. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. This is so weird, because he gives a similar speech at the beginning of Persona 4, but it's very much, the voice is toned differently. It might even be a different person, I'm not sure. It's been years since we've had a guest. You have like an accent or something in this one too. Persona 4, Igor did, does not have an accent. In this game, he very much has some kind of accent going on. I can't really even tell what it is, but there's some kind of accent there. That's not normal English. It's the document signed at the dorm. Yeah. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Was I unwillingly giving you guys permission to spy on me, and I didn't read the fine print? Is that it? Also, if Mar if if Elizabeth here is your assistant. Then, what about the little kid who got me to sign the document? That, that definitely wasn't Elizabeth, I don't think. The hair was very much the opposite color. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. That's like an Italian accent or something. I, I don't know, just, that sounds so funny. After hearing Persona 4's Igor, because that's, uh... It's like someone's trying to do a bad interpretation of Persona 4's Igor. That's kind of what it sounds like. But I know that can't be true, because Persona 3 came first. But it very much sounds like someone attempting to impersonate the person for Persona 4 and doing a bad job. That's what it sounds like. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I cannot take this seriously. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully I'll get used to it, but this is so weird. I only ask one thing in return. Yes, what? That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Sir, yes sir, Mr. Igor, sir. 
I understand. I don't understand. Is this a dream? Are um uh are are you actually the chairman? You're not the chairman? I don't know. Uh is this a dream? Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. See, in this game that's a little more believable. Whereas in Persona 4, I'm sticking by my theory that he was getting kidnapped every time and he was not actually fast asleep. In this game, though, it would be a little harder for them to kidnap me considering it's not a vehicle, it's a, an elevator. This visit of yours is merely a dream. Well, I guess this could also be really kidnapped and put here, and it might not even be kidnapped in this case because it could even be in this mansion. There could be a hidden room we're not allowed to go into, and that leads to the velvet room. Possibly. However... You will come here of your own accord, sooner or later. Okay, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. It still sounds like someone doing a bad impersonation of the Persona 4 voice, but I'm getting used to it. Hold on to this. Velda Key. Till we meet again. Yes, sir, Igor, sir.